Hey, it's Peter Kay with another edition of Five Minutes to Fitness. I'm not Peter Kay, I'm Liz Clayman from the Fox Business Network. That's Peter Kay. <laughs> hey, it's Peter Kay. This is a great segment. I'm really excited. I'm here with Liz Clayman of the Fox Business Network, news anchor. And we're going to talk to Liz about how you fit in fitness and nutrition. You've done marathons, you've done triathlons. Tell them how do you possibly get all that done, plus two young children at home, husband works full time. How does it all happen? <laughs> now you're making me nervous as you remind me of all the things I have to do. Right. Don't uh, get stressed. Okay, you know what? Here's the thing. I wasn't doing all of this stuff before. I was doing sort of in the 90s, the aerobics classes, and you know, once a night, I was finding that I was sort of sluggish still, and I'm thinking, wait, I go to the gym, you know, I go to all these places, I do this stuff, but it wasn't enough. It only kicked up into higher gear when I woke up in November of about 2005 and thought, I'm gonna do the marathon in a year. Right, and what- Now, I mean, there's just no way I would ever do the marathon. I'm not athletic. I was never on a team, never. Okay. But I just set my mind to it's it. It's good to tell people that because you're not technically an athlete no. and you started training for this stuff later and you've done great, right? I didn't even get accepted to the drill team. Forget the cheerleading team. No, I was never. I was a yearbook editor, a little journalist right. geek. But no, I just woke up one day and I said, I am going to break out of this mold of thinking. You know, all of you people out there, you think I can do this, I can't do that. I was born with scoliosis, with the curvature of the spine, and I was always told, you'll be able to do anything, you just won't run long distances. So my whole life I thought, I won't run long distances, and then one day I woke up and thought, why not? So I began training for the marathon with the help of you, and uh, November of 2006, boom, there I was running the New York City Marathon, and I completed it. it. took me a long time, five and a half hours, but so what? I did it, and I found that while marathons aren't necessarily going to be for me the rest of my life, if you don't do this, if you don't work out and you don't push it to the next limit, you can't reach the other goals in your life. Right, so, and, and that's a great point. So how do we get started? So someone's listening out there, how do they start? Do they start by with a marathon or do they start little? And what motivates you to do that? You, you start with a goal. You just pick a goal. And it doesn't matter if a million people say, oh, I could never do that. I can't believe you're gonna try, tune it out. But also, you know, one of the things is time. I know a lot of people watching are saying, but I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a husband, I have too much, I have a full-time job. I'm working all the time. Uh, you know, I, I work, I do the three o'clock hour, the four o'clock hour, I do cut-ins on the back end and on the front end. I'm running around crazy. I've got the right. two little kids setting up play dates and all this, but what I did was I looked at my calendar and I thought, where can I fit in daily workouts or near daily workouts? And guess what I saw? What? 5 a.m. That was it. And that was intimidating to me, but I thought, okay, get up at 5 a.m., get to the gym at 5.30. So I started forcing myself. I mean, it through snowstorms, through rainstorms, through good weather, bad weather, through darkness and light, I just forced myself to do it. And weirdly enough, I found that once you start doing it, you actually end up having more energy. Don't roll your eyes when you hear me say this, it's true. Good point. I would be up at five, and then there were times where I had to do a public appearances till 9 p.m. All of a sudden, it was easier than when I wasn't working out. Right, that's the irony. People think, I'm, I'm already tired, I'm already overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. If I exercise, I'm gonna take more time away from my family, my kids, and my job. But you actually have more energy to bring to that. That's an excellent point. I hear a lot of moms say, oh, but I'll be at the gym, and I, I, I get so little time with my kids. Let me tell you something. You're doing nobody a favor if you're not healthy. And by working out, you're actually being more generous to your children right. because you will become right. a healthier mom. You will mentally and physically yeah. be less stressed out because you've worked out on the treadmill, on the elliptical, on the ATM, in your spin class, whatever it is, just get out there and do it. And this whole, I don't have time, really boils down to, you have to take a chisel and a hammer and start carving out that time. Right, it's time for you, really. It'd be it a little is. selfish about it because it's gonna benefit everyone anyway. So, number one, set a goal. Right. Number two, sit down and look at your schedule mm -hmm. and make a plan. And then what helps, what is, has been most impactful for you? Is it changing how you eat? Is it the training? Is it just setting that goal and getting your mind around it? Well, I, I would have to say that Peter K trained me for my triathlon as well, which was a huge success for me. It was. But you sometimes do need extra help. Sometimes you can't just read the books and do it on your own. So when I started to train with you, uh, I, I sort of had different ideas of how I should be training. You right. guided me. I worked with exercise bands. I worked with all kinds of, um, I forget even the term you used. Where yeah. you're, the squats where you're doing, and the lunges yeah, and the, the functional squats and the resistance. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. you incorporated that into your cardio training, obviously, because the marathon and triathlon is all Oh, and by the stuff. way, and Peter K., you told me this and it worked perfectly for me. I don't like to run 
after the marathon, I was like, no more running. <laughs> so you said, let's do exercises that mimic running. So I think I only ran twice in training for the triathlon. Which is amazing because that was an Olympic distance. Yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of running. There are other exercises, which a guy like Peter Kay, and you're already there if you're watching this, can actually show you that mimic running, right. but isn't the monotony and the boredom. And I have a bad hip too. I'm a mess, basically. <laughs> so I had a bad so hip. So if Liz so could do it, anyone could do I it. I didn't want to run that much. So we right. only ran twice right. in our training. And the rest of the time, we did other alternative exercises but anyone can do it. And you know what? If you don't, you're doing nobody in your life a favor. And mentally, yes. Now, when you talked about the food, yeah, that's the breakdown yeah. in the I, Liz Clayman world. So a little confession. Liz likes chocolate a, a lot, little bit. A lot. Yeah. And I had four milk that. duds already, and it's only 1030 in the morning. <laughs> OK, don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I worked on the whole grains. I right. worked on just uh, eating more healthfully right. and making sure that the fuel that I put in the body, awesome. the fuel that you put in the body, is you're only going to be as good at putting out what you get right with putting because that's the point look at food as a fuel source as energy is not not comfort for the emotions that you feel right. and then you said something else too. get a mentor get a coach partner with someone it's hard to do it alone there's days you don't want to get up but if you've got to meet someone or if you've got to be accountable you're more likely to follow through. I think right. there was a, a session we did at 7 p.m. and I was so tired right and we did it and and you, you kind of inspired me in that regard, but it, we didn't do that that much, right. but you just get out there and just do it. Just taking that first step is so important. And I've, it's really important for me to stress to people though, I'm not an athlete, right. but I've now done two triathlons, mm -hmm. one marathon. I'm thinking about doing a third triathlon. I did the 60 mile bike ride for multiple sclerosis right. for which we trained as well. That was awesome. And it has changed my life. Yeah. It has changed my life. Lost six pounds since I started at Fox Business, but that's because we're <laughs> running so hard here at Fox Business. Right. It's actually a marathon on any given day. But I, I feel that I really want to impart this to people, but I don't want them to be intimidated. Oh, she's, she's right. missed everything. I'm not. Right. I'm not. You don't They're, have to do the marathon or triathlon. You can just do this for your family, for you to be more successful in your business, your personal life, and whatever. It actually ends up working that way. Right. That if you are physically fit, your success in the professional world, you'll find in a funny kind of way, it starts to work out even more fluidly and better. Awesome, so it transcends all your life. You're not just doing this to lose weight, mm -hmm. you're doing this to have an incredible quality of life. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's and, what you're doing. And in the end, <laughs> when you get to say, I did a tri triathlon, to right. watch your coworkers' eyes light up, you right. did that? You're like, yeah, I did that. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say <laughs> you could have that chocolate at the end of the workout session. Oh, that too. Okay. Can I so, do that now? <laughs> uh, right after we get off of here. So last thing you're gonna leave them with. They're, they're ready, you're motivated, right? Mm -hmm. What are they gonna do? And, and what can you say to them? Just have the courage to look at your calendar, to look at your schedule, find those tiny points, whether it's a half hour or an hour. Mine is really only, I, I started to push toward about an hour and a half uh, now. So I get up at 5.10 in the morning, I'm at the gym at about 5.35, and I go till about 10 to 7, and I work it extra hard. Once you carve out that time and you force yourself and make a commitment to nobody else in your life except you, that you will find that everything in your life gets better. But in the end, if you're sitting there saying, oh, but my kids, you're actually being more generous to your children by being healthy and by doing something like this. Great and I, I really credit you with a lot of that sort of psychological force that has pushed me forward awesome. in doing that. But I, I'm happy to. I, Great it makes me feel so much better to be this awesome. way. I'm so glad. You inspire me, you inspire the children in your life, your husband, I know you have an influence on everyone. I got him to do a triathlon. Though, Pretty awesome, so that was right. Good. He's done a couple, right? And right. So now you all have to. Right. Okay. Promise awesome. Me. Liz Clayman, thank you so much. Thank you, Peter Kay. Awesome. Until next time, I'm Peter Kay. I'll see you on 5 Minutes to Fitness Plus TV.